Hi guys, it's Xanderfork here, and welcome to my walkthrough of Darkness Within in Pursuit of Loth Nongda. Now, this is a point-and-click action horror. Well, not action horror, I'd say adventure horror. It's a point-and-click puzzle game where you go around exploring. So, it's part one of a trilogy. There's two games out at the moment. I did an unboxing of this, by the way. Uh, like I said, the second one is gameplay style, it's similar to Amnesia, and I personally think it's the better game, but this is also very good. So uh, I prefer to play this also uh, as a recommendation for people who are interested in playing. So uh, at the moment, I've completed it, but uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play it again, because I know what to do now. So uh, let's go. Let's have a new game. I'm definitely going to go on standard because yeah, hints can be taken whenever they're available. Because trust me, guys, this game is hard. So I'm going to be quiet through most of the cutscenes now because you need to watch it to understand the story. So I'm going to zip my lip. About now. Men of broader intellect know that there is no sharp distinction betwixt the real and the unreal. They say that I am mad. They said the two locals found me in the morning, seven miles from the town of Windlaps. I was laughing and muttering meaningless gibberish to myself. I was cursing and arguing with myself. A raving madman with burning eyes, lost in the dark depths of his own merciful delirium. They say that I have been searching for a particular grave in the local cemeteries. They were right. If you knew whose grave it was, you would understand. So my behavior, which seemed abnormal, had nothing to do with madness. You must understand that. If you knew what had happened to me, then you would, I promise, also understand the reasons for my behavior. It all started on that cold November day. That was when I was given the case of the fugitive suspect, Loth Nolder, a man whose intelligence I greatly admired. He had returned after five years of traveling to bizarre locations and had become the primary murder suspect in the first case he took on. It was Loth Nolder who left Wellsmouth those five years ago, but was he the same man who returned? That's the question. This I will leave to the judgment of the readers of these notes. They tell me that I've been here in the Wellsmouth Mental Institution for two weeks now. Is it really that long? I cannot say. I do not remember the first eight days. The doctors tell me I am making progress. I think they are lying. It takes me longer every day to remember where I am, even who I am, after I wake up from the dreams. That is why it is essential to keep these notes as I struggle to convince myself that I am really mad. Because before the night that I was found, I looked into the deepest wells of madness more than any man alive. Yes, I am definitely mad. I must be. Because everything I have seen, I have seen through the eyes of insanity's omnipresent soul. Let's get started then. This is before what we've just seen. This is how it all started. I cannot open this door. There is no handle on it. That's probably locked as well, so I'm going to go forward. Emptiness. Hmm. Strange graffiti. It looks like a sort of like body thing with two heads. Hmm. Cool. 
think that has something to do with the story as well. What does this mean? Who drew all this graffiti? I don't know. Why are you asking me? What a beautiful room. Reminds me of somewhere. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Oh, what was that? <gasps> and it was all a dream. It's usually the most cop out thing ever. Oh, another nightmare. What's going on with these dreams I've been having lately? So vivid. Almost as if they were real. Right, let's go answer that phone, shall we? Yoink. Yes, Arthur? At last. What's the problem, Arthur? Loth Nolder escaped from the hospital last night. I've been calling you for hours with the news. Strange. I never heard the phone. Check your answering machine. I left several messages. Anyway, what happened with Loth? No one knows. It's like he just vanished out of the place overnight. Okay. I'm on my way in now. Howard, are you feeling all right? <sighs> just a little tired, Arthur. I must have overslept last night. Nothing to worry about. Okay. I'll see you soon. Nothing to worry about, dear. Oh, Loth Nolder has escaped. Arthur told me that Loth Nolder, who was the main murder suspect of the Clark Field, ca Clark Field case, escaped from the hospital last night. This case is very important to me because I admire his intelligence and I feel that this will be a real challenge. I can't say that his escape worries me. Boring. Oh, that's better. I and my nightmares. There are times when even the howlings of the fearful sirens are not enough to affect one, and there are, then there are such times when even the withered, withered moon that is hidden behind a cloud can affect and shatter a life which is in the darkness of a cave. Illusions of myths. Blah blah blah. Talking about nightmares. The burnt house. The time of the triumphant witch. Obviously, he has occurring nightmares, otherwise, he wouldn't have a book about them. So, we know our character suffers a lot of, my a lot of nightmares. I heard a voice, or a deep gentle noise, that filled wicked lies with might. Within stone bed, th the numbly dead can stay away from light. It was a phrase that was told in days of old and shadowed times. In dormant state said the dead can wait for the time he is to rise. Hmm. Oh well. Let's check this. Apparently he left some messages, so... Hmm. There's no messages. Hmm, that's odd. Didn't Arthur say that he left messages for me? I better call him and ask him about this. Silence! Scum. Blah blah blah. No, oh, nothing interesting. Let's go call Arthur about this. Yes, Howard? Arthur, it's me again. Sorry, I think I might have missed a few things earlier. Okay, Howard, what do you want to know? You called me, so why didn't you leave a message on my machine? You called me? So why didn't you leave a message on my machine? What do you mean? 
I left plenty of messages. You didn't get them? I don't know, Arthur. I think this old machine is broken. Never mind. Never mind. We'll talk about it when I get to the office. See you. Okay, uh well, when I get to the office, so I should go to my office office. Because there will be information and in helping me find Lothanalda, hopefully. Lothanalda. I nightmare. Just an adhesive drip to drop into the nightmare. I see this painting always reminds me of that poem. Now if you guys don't know what this is, this is an incubus. Incubus succubus. An incubus. It used to be a little demon that would come and sit on your chest at night and I don't know too much, but I know that was the original myth, and people thought these were real. And this evolved into being witches that sat on your chest, and they'd burn witches for causing this. It's old myth and folklore, but uh, uh, in this realm, in the realm of this game, it's not too preposterous, of course. I think that's his bathroom, and I don't need to go to the bathroom at the moment. So let's go to your office, shall we? Ooh, and this means the hallway he was in his dream was his uh, hallway in his flat. So a detective has a flat. Well, judge how much money a detective, a job as a detective. Oh, I'm so forgetful these days, I forgot my car keys. Yeah, of course I am. Just so to how much uh, money you get for being a detective, you have a flat. Car keys. Even I forgot them, and I've played this game. Don't mind. I think it's funny this is still set in the future. Or coming up to the future. Coming up to the present. Because it's set in 2011. Phew. Let's get out of here. Put it through the rain! Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Cause my name just speeding through the countryside. I don't get it. People, a lot of people think they can speed through the country. What's oh, the country? There's not a lot of people out there. Therefore, I can drive at like ridiculous fast pace. Stupid fast speed. Ugh. Disgusting. Wellsmouth. Never much happening here. Just run of the mill cases and paperwork to catch up on. That's my normal working day. But not with this case. I've got to admit, it's been good to be dealing with something a little out of the ordinary for once. Of course it'd be. Doing normal cases is boring. That's what the X files are for. No, nothing on the computer. Da, da, da. Ooh, photos. These are investigation pictures taken at Loth Nolder's office. There was nothing there when we first searched the place. I have examined the place several times since then, but couldn't find any clues. That office is the only property Nolder owns. He even sold his house to help pay for his strange travels around the world. So why didn't he sell his office as well? I think I'd better take these pictures with me. Maybe there's something here we're not seeing. <laughs> Yes, this boring tutorial showing me how to analyze pictures, but I can't do anything when I'm not at the house, and so I've got no idea what I'm looking for. Files, files, lots of files. Hmm. Clark Field, White, third of the eleventh, nineteen seventy-six. 1650, blah blah blah. 